Let g of x be continuously differentiable with g of 1 equals 6, g prime of 1 equals 3. What is limit as x approaches 1 of this? Okay, so first thing to recognize is this is right there. That is the fundamental theorem of calculus. So what that's saying is that is g of x, where uh, g, big g of x is the integral of little g of x. So rewriting this in a not more yeah more comprehensible simpler form, we get something along the lines of limit as x approaches one of g of x over g of x. Oh, that's a terrible g. It looks like it's s. I would never think that you could write a g so that it looks like an s. Okay. And when we put in our values, we get, we don't know, because we don't know what big G of X is. But we do know that G of 1, so this will be some value over 6 minus 6, which is 0. And you can't divide by 0. End of the universe and such. So what we're going to have to do is use L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule says that the limit as x approaches a value is the same as the derivative of the top and the bottom of the same. That was not clear. I'll show you. So, limit as x approaches 1 of big G prime of x over uh, G of x. It looks like an S again. It looks like an S again. Prime, which equals g of x, so the derivative of the integral is just the, the function. Uh, the derivative of 6 is going to be 0, because the derivative of a constant is always 0. And then the derivative of g of x will be g prime of x, which will be g of 1 over g prime of 1, which will equal g of 1 is 6, g prime of 1 is 3, and so this will equal 2. Oh, haha, ha, zzz. 6, uh, oh, did I do that upside down? Ah, human performance trap. Maybe, no, it's correct, I'm correct, yes. Yep, 6 over 3, 2. Ah, that's an easy. I could have easily just been like, oh, that's one half, because, mm, yeah. Moral of this story, pay attention to what's written. Um, don't get your primes confused. So, backtrack slightly. Um, we're given an equation. Looks kind of funny. Uh, you just have to know through, I guess, memorizing what the definition of um, the fundamental theorem of calculus is. And that, that equals the integral of a, a function. Uh, the fundamental theorem of calculus, it... It does make sense, um, but it's not initially as intuitive as a lot of other things are. So for the fundamental theorem of calculus, look at it, understand it once, and be like, okay. And then from that point on, just recognize this equals integral. Pop, 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 pop. And then you just work your way through. L'Hopital's rule, take the derivative of the top, derivative of the bottom, and that equals the same. I should have put in still a limit as x approaches 1 for all of these, and then eventually the answer would be 2. And that's how this problem is solved.